انت هولندي وتعرف المجتمع الهولندي احسن من غيرك فكيف تظن ان الانسان الهولندي ينظر الى الاسلام يعني مثلا لان هذا هذه المساله مهمه جدا لشخص مثلا يريد ان يقوم بالدعوه في هذا البلد يجب عليه ان يعرف نظره الاخر الى دينه حتى يستطيع ان يفهم موقعه فيرد عليه فيدعوه بالطريقه الانسب فكيف يعني حسب خبرتك كيف ينظر الهولنديون الى الاسلام so um, first of all i agree right and this is so important to understand that when it comes to knowledge in islam we, we often talk about knowledge and wisdom right so it is a combination of understanding the deen which i try right and understanding the context right which is where i'm from and not only am i from this country i used to be a non-muslim <laughs> so i kind of know what non-muslims think because i used to be one right <laughs> heavily invested so um what i found is that uh, what, what, or what i think is that the the opinion from many western non-muslims and especially atheists keep in mind that this country although in the history it's a christian country right now people with no religion are the majority right so christians are a minority in this country now right um many people uh, uh, left christianity and then the um, uh, it's like the negative experiences that they had with christianity they projected on islam mm -hmm. so what we find is that when you when you're talking to non-muslims about uh, about islam they will say i don't like islam i like science and then i i reply i say well because i like islam i, I like science mm -hmm. but there is such a strong uh, association that religion per se is uh, anti-human rights, anti-women, uh, anti-science, that, um, uh, that they are actually projecting this on Islam as well. Um, so this means that when, 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 when I'm interacting with people who are non-Muslim, I'm actually not by definition trying to uh, discuss with them on arguments and have a rational debate with them because that's really not where the problem is where the problem is mm -hmm. is the negative associations uh, contributed to religion in general specifically uh, to islam uh, due to some very negative uh, events that has happened but also due to the way that we look at events so for instance if a if a if a, if a white secular guy does something we say it's that individual if a Muslim does something, we say, that's Islam. So these are two negative events, but the way that it is perceived is different, right? So when I, this, uh, when I try to engage in conversation with people, I try to talk about their uh, associations with Islam, because then I just ask them, instead of just telling about Islam, 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 Islam mm -hmm. I ask them, what's your opinion? And then what I do is I take from their opinion the, all the things which are Islamically correct, and then they say, that's Islam. Mm. And so instead of trying to say, you're a non-Muslim, this is a religion, I'm trying to get you to like this religion. Mm. Instead of that, I'm actually pointing out which parts of the way that they're already thinking are Islam. Mm. And uh, 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 which, which parts of what they think is wrong about religion is not allowed in Islam. So say, but you're not, uh, the problem with religion is that this and this and this. Say, yeah, but not only, not only is that your opinion, that's Islamically correct. Mm -hmm. We also think it is very problematic if people do this and this and that, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So I'm actually trying to, uh, to, to attack verbally, intellectually, yeah. uh, associations that people have. And um, plus what I like to do is I just like to bring people along. So it's just like to bring them along to a mosque. Mm -hmm. Many people in this country believe they are not allowed to enter a mosque. Many non-Muslims, really? they believe that they are not allowed to enter a mosque. They will, if, if, you have, they, uh, uh, if you ask them, many people literally say, yeah, I would like to see it, but you know, I, I don't know if I'm allowed to enter. Mm -hmm. So you're not allowed to enter. There's a door. Yeah, but I'm not a Muslim, <laughs> right? 
which is funny because then I have a discussion with people. They say, I'm not allowed to go to Mecca as a non-Muslim. I'm not allowed. This is why I don't like your religion. I say, why do you, why do you, why do you even bother? I say, why? Would you like to go to Mecca? They say, I would like to. I say, why would you like to? I say, there's a big mosque. I would like to see it. I say, well, you're from Utrecht. There's a big mosque, <laughs> right? I mean, you're, 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 you don't like that you can't go to the big mosque in Mecca, but you didn't even go to the big mosque in your own city. You say, yeah, but I'm not allowed. So you're not allowed. Right? I say, come. So you want to see a big mosque. And, and, and keep in mind, I'm not teasing them, right? I'm taking them seriously, yeah. right? But I'm saying, listen, you want to see what a mosque looks like from the inside? So yeah, so let's go. And then we just go to the mosque. And when, when you're in the mosque with a non-Muslim, you say, hey, this guy's not a Muslim. Oh, yeah, you want coffee? You want some desserts, you know? They'll have a very nice time. And they don't go away with, the, with understanding, like, like, this is the prayer times, and this is the Qibla, and this is how it works. No, yeah. they go away with the experience. Hey, I went to a mosque, and those guys were really friendly. And they were happy to see me. So keep that in mind. Because as long as they think that we're the enemy, all my rational arguments are, are useless. Yes. As soon as we understand that, listen, we're both trying to get the best out of this life. And maybe we can help each other. No, no. Here's some opening where we can discuss. And honestly, I mean, Islam is the best you can wish for everybody.